everybody welcome back to my channel as you can see i am in a different room um finally got this room done finally got this room done and i'm actually going to pick myself up a beer and relax while i explain to you basically the focal points of this room as i explain i'll be showing you the areas of the room so that you can see um what I see when I walk into this room. Uh, it took me a while to kind of figure out what I wanted to do with this room. This is my beauty slash office um, tour. The video is a tour, but this is the room where I come in to work, but also come in to do my makeup. And also I've got a mirror right here, here, right here. Um, and this is where I come in to just have a look at my body, what I'm wearing, if everything looks good. Um, this is where I check outfits. This is where I have some of my clothes in here. And when I'm trying out outfits and stuff, this is where all of that happens. Um, also, at the same time, this is where I sit and I read devotionals in the morning. Sometimes, not all the time, but I have a little corner where even when my friends are around, when I used to film in here a lot, my friends would sit there and watch me film. So that's pretty much what this room is about right now um i absolutely love this room it's my it's my cozy space but what i wanted i love the fact that this room is quite big because this is what could potentially be a bedroom but i turned into my office slash beauty room and the room is quite big but I love that about the room because even though I've got two desks in here and I've got all the stuff and all of that, this room still is quite spacious enough for it not to feel cluttered and crowded. That's one thing that I don't want. And for someone like me who wears typically very muted down colors in terms of clothing, hello, I wear black and grays and white not so much, but black, grays and... Um, what's the other color that I had in my head just now? Nudes, uh, browns, that kind of thing. So those are the colors that I wear, but this is the one room where I wanted it to pop with very, with, with bright colors, but also with greenery. Um, I wanted to walk in here and feel inspired. So if I walk in here and the space is quite dark, I'm not going to feel inspired in actual fact more days i would feel quite heavy if the room was quite dark um there's a lot of mix of textures in here there's plants in here real plants and faux plants and um then i have just things that make me smile so they've got they've got shoes there and i've got all of this i've got my handbags behind me just handbags that pretty much match the shoes and i love that with each season or each time that i swap out the shoes that are there i'll coordinate them with the handbags that i'll put here so it's that kind of thing um but i really really love this room it's turned out to be one of the best spaces in my home that i love especially now at a time where we are also working from home so i'm pretty much going to explain to you guys what's what as i sit here on the floor and get myself comfortable it is friday afternoon so hello Hello, hello, hello. It's my second actually beer because I was filming something else before this. But um, so when you're standing at the door and you peruse into the room and you have a look see, what you see first initially is my office desk. And that is pretty much um, where I sit when I am working. On my office desk at any given time, you will find my iPad, my laptop my jbl speakers which i use quite a bit for when i am editing because i really like to listen to the sound of what you know my camera has picked up while i was editing and the speakers do that quite well much better than my ears will pick up um so they are often there and there's always a notepad a bunch of books um um notepads actually a bunch of books pens and a little faux plant which i picked up from mr price what i loved about this desk is the mix of earthiness colors at the same time mixed with white 
um, I picked up the desk first when I was perusing on Instagram and I was just like mm, I am looking for a really really nice earthy toned desk um, and I found it on a shop called Eleven Past. I talk about this desk in one of my videos. I actually talk about, I don't mind sharing where I get things, like I talk about it in one of my videos. Um, and then what separates this room, the office side of the room, which you'll typically find my desk, you'll t find my tripod, and at the very corner is the mirror. Um, what separates this room from the beauty space and the workspace is a rug that runs right down the middle. Um, this rug I picked up, I didn't want a rug that would fill the room. I like the, um, the tile and I love the fact that the tile provides coolness during the summertime. And we are actually going out of winter into spring. So I like the fact that sometimes it's just so nice on a really hot day to walk on the tile as opposed to the um, the rug. But the rug is just basically for me a line of demarcation that separates the work side of the room um, to the makeup and beauty side of the room. Um, so right at the door is a plant that you see. I often change out my plants in different parts of the house. So at one point you'll have the the rubber plant there, sometimes I put the uh, fig leaf pr plant there, sometimes I put something different. I like to switch around the plants in different rooms in the house. It just creates an air of just variety, diversity, difference, changes things up a notch um, and I like that. The next thing you see from the plant is my makeup desk and I have spoken about this I have a makeup collection video on my channel so I'm not going to get into detail about this section of the um, the room because I speak about it in so much detail I will however talk about the desk because I get asked about this desk even till today even with that video gone up I still ask, get asked about that desk I will link the video down below so you can watch it and actually get to see what is in my makeup drawers full on all my makeup which hasn't really increased since then because I haven't been buying makeup actually since lockdown since March and we're now in August um, but essentially that space has my pencils, my uh, the drawers have my foundations, concealers, everything, eyelashes, eyeshadow palettes, everything. Watch the makeup collection video and you'll see all of that. The desk in itself is from a store called Decorama Designers. I've said this before even on Twitter, I remember tweeting this. Uh, it's from Decorama Designers and you can find the desk there you can also find decorama designers online um they can even make the desk for you they're a great store because if you just show them a portion of the video or show them what they can make it for you which is amazing and um it's just this whole section is just littered with my makeup bits my uh makeup sprays everything that is my makeup lipsticks lipsticks everything um and also a full plant at the corner there uh, which I picked up from Mr. Price. On the corner there I have uh, my neck pieces dangling off of these little hooks which I picked up from Checkers. Those hooks are so cheap and they stick to the wall. I feel like if you are in a place where you're renting I wouldn't advise those because they stick. If you remove them um cc <laughs> they're gonna come off with the paint um that's where my neck pieces are i also have a rosary there a gold rosary there um there's always touches of something a, 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 a religious symbol in every room in the house here it's just how it is for me um and then above that i've got a perfume from zara a foundation from Bobbi Brown and just a, a stand where you can connect your necklaces or your rings and what have you. Currently, it's pretty much empty because I've got other places where I've put up all the rings and things like that. So this little chest of drawers here and above there, like pretty much here, above there, that is where I keep my everyday jewelry. I don't keep my expensive pieces there because 
I just like that everything of mine that's really pricey to be in my bedroom. So that includes my watches, my sunglasses. I've got um, there on that table, I've got a couple of shades from Dior Chanel and something else and um then the jewelry i've pretty much it's just really cosmetic jewelry from like lovisa and what have you um i've got rings and bracelets from swarovski which i do not put there i put in my bedroom in a safe space in my bedroom along with my rather expensive watches i don't keep them there the watches that i keep there are uh, my everyday watches and um that little light up box which i never really light up i'm not going to lie i never really light it up is the, with the box with the letter that at j gatleo is uh i picked that up from typo and the little glasses that are on the top there those little uh tubular canisters the glass ones are from mr price and i've got like little miniature rocks on the inside you guys can see that there i absolutely love how it turned out i was trying to figure out where i was going to put those up just after i bought them and i thought i'm gonna put them over there and i really really like it the room is still spacious it's bright it's airy um it is currently 20 to 3 and the room is so bright that I can sit in here on a summer's night until pretty much 7 o'clock with just, you know, and, and it's so airy and bright and beautiful looking and all of that. Um, the space behind me, which you will see a cutaway of, um, is pretty much my little shoe space. This is hardly, hardly all the shoes that I have. You guys must probably know i've got a lot of shoes and i will switch them out this time around the whole theme we're going with is your browns along with the bags right here it's your browns your totes your caramel your uh all of that camel all of that so i really like it i feel like it gives a nice vibe to the room but in the more colder months i can switch it out and make it just black shoes which would be nice but then if i make it just black then i have to make the bags black as well which i've got a lot of black bags that could work um and then this stand that everybody asks me about is from Mr. Price Home. at the top it houses my some of my cameras and then it's got um these little containers here which are from mr price home as well and it's got my nail products in there some masks some surgical masks um and on the side here are all the head wraps head scarves or even neck scarves depending on how you wear them i have those here and i absolutely love them i love how it turned out i just I just tied them on because a lot of the time I lose them or misplace them and then at some point I ended up putting in, putting them in one of the wardrobes and then hanging them in there and I thought but these are so pretty not to actually display and I absolutely love the fact that I decided to hang them here and I feel like this one is missing just one extra one to just complete the whole rack. I've got the pampas grass which you're not really going to see but pretty much next to it I've got the pampas grass and the long mirror which is pretty much where i see myself <laughs> and when i'm getting dressed when i check myself out in the mirror and all of that i see myself in the mirror there and that's pretty much it i love how the room turned out for me it's a big room that i could have easily cluttered up if i wasn't careful um I love the fact that the wall-to-wall -wall wardrobes provide me with ample space to put away my makeup, everyday makeup, makeup that I don't use on a daily basis, um, my shoes, my coats. This section of in this room is typically clothes that I, I, I don't wear. So I switch out my wardrobe seasonally. Um, this is pretty much it. I wanted this room to ooze life and color and light. My biggest thing is light. I need my room, especially rooms. Actually, I need my whole house light. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine when we were talking about accent colors in a room, like where you have a certain wall and an accent color. And I thought to myself, it's great. And it looks so nice in many houses and many spaces. 
I typically would get bored of it very, very quickly because I feel like it limits me in terms of what I can buy in terms of furniture. Whereas if I have a universal color, which is this color here, which is not white, it's, um, I think it's oyster white, which is slightly uh, uh, more muted down, um, cooler, beachier vibes, matches really well with my um, shutters, um, as opposed to that piercing white, which is another white I cannot handle for the life of me. I don't know how people do the white white. It's so bright. Um, and that is what I like from a space in which I live. I may like to wear dark colors, but I love to keep the space that I live in bright, especially, more especially, <laughs> more especially a space where I work in, a, a space I work in, I need it bright, I need it vibrant, I need it colorful, uh, because I feel like my ideas flow. So that's pretty much where I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a little bit of an indication of the room the final finished room whether it meets your expectations or not let me know down below i was very careful not to go too crazy in this room i did want to keep it airy and light but also vibrant and colorful just after i finished laying down the last piece to this room which was pretty much the rug i was like it's done it's done so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for coming through and watching it let me know what you think of the room it's easy it's simple it's clean exactly what is me and um it's airy it's light it's bright it's flirty i love it uh let me know what you think of it subscribe to the channel if you haven't welcome uh do join the jk fam and i'll see you in the next video bye